Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In operation research, let us discuss about linear programming as ISO cost model. Then we will do graphical solution for the problems. First, what is ISO cost method? The term ISO cost or ISO profit method provides the combination of points that produces the same cost per profit as any other combination on the same line. This is done by plotting a line parallel to the slope of the equation. To solve the problem using ISO cost method, we need the following the steps. First one, create a mathematical formulation from the given problem. Suppose that problem is given, you have to make a mathematical formulation. Now plot the graph using the given constraints and find the feasible solution. Now find the coordinate of the feasible region that we get from the step 2. That means you have to find the coordinate of the feasible re region by drawing a graph. Find the convenient value of z that is z is objective function and draw the line of this objective function you have to draw a objective function line also which is given if the objective function is maximum type then draw a line which is parallel to the objective function line and this line is farthest from the origin and only has one common point to the feasible region that means you have to draw a line parallel to uh, z line which is for most for the most to the origin if objective function is a minimum function maximum function then next step now get the coordinates of the common point that we find in steps that means you have to find the coordinate of the common point that z line meet the region. Now this point is used to find the optimal solution and the value of the objective function. That means you have to use the coordinates to the z function and get the feasible solution means uh, optimal solution. Now. We can understand this concept with some examples. Look at this question number one. Solve the given linear programming problem graphically. Maximize is that function is 50x plus 15y. And the constraints are yx plus y equal to lesser or equal to 100. x plus y equal to lesser or equal to 50. x is greater than 0. y is greater than 0. Here, first you have to take these two functions y x plus y equal to 100, x plus y equal to 50. Now, here we have to find the so solution of this y x plus y equal to 100, x plus y equal to 50. Put x equal to, x equal to 0, that means y x plus y x plus y equal to 100. Put x equal to 0 means y into 0 plus y equal to 100. Therefore, the points are x equal to 0, y is 100. Now, in reverse, put y equal to 0, y x plus 0 equal to 100, and that x equal to 100 over y equal to 20. Therefore, our points are x equal to 20, y is x equal to 20, y is 0. So, we have 0 and 100, 20 and 0 are the two points. Similarly, you have to take the second line x plus y equal to 100. Therefore, x equal to, x plus y equal to 50. Then we can get it if you put x equal to 0 means y is 50. If you put y equal to 0, x is 50. So, x is 50, 50. We have the points. Now, look at these points in the graph. Put x equal to 0 means y is 100 and put x equal to y equal to 0 means x is 20. So these two points join the line. Similarly, join this line. 
that is uh, x equal to 0 means o is 50, o equal to 0 means x is 50, gone. then we have to find the feasible area by using this uh, constraints means uh, these are the constraints x is greater than 0, o is greater than 0 and these are that means by using Now we have the feasible area here. Now find the point intersecting, the line intersecting the point is 12.5 and 13.5. Now for isocost method we have to continue for the steps. Now we find the convenient value of z here. z function is given as 50x plus 15y. The coefficient of x is 50, y is 15. So LCM of 50 and 15 is 150. So LCM we got. So the value of Z is the multiple of 150 for we can get multiple of 150 is 150 into 2 is 300 will take. Now look for 50x plus 15y equal to suppose is 300. From that we can get put x equal 0 means y is 300 by 15 is 20 and put y equal to 0, x equal to 300 over 50 is 6. So we have x equal to 0, y is 20, y is 0, x is 6. So that line is this dotted line. So this line we have to draw. Now, as we know that the objective function is maximum type, then we draw a line which is parallel to the objective function line and farthest from the origin and only has one common point to the feasible region. Here, this line is this is the is a parallel to this line. So these points are now. Now this line is isocost line. This is a parallel to that line. So that point meets the feasible area is here. That point is 12.5 and 37.5 which is a feasible solution. We have to common point is 15.5, 12.5 and 37.5 with the feasible region. So now we find the optimal solution of the objective function is that z is 50 x plus 15 y substitute the value of x is 12.5 and y is 37.5 and calculate z equal to 1187. So normal method is you have to find that substitute each point, the corner point to, to the z value. Now here iso cost you have to select directly. This is the our solution means uh, a line iso cost line is here that which is parallel to this line which meets the point feasible region here 12.5 and 37.5. That point is your optimal solution, giving optimal solution. Therefore, z equal to 1187 is the solution. Question number two, solve the given linear programming problem graphically by using iso cost method, same z equal to 20x plus 10y at the constraints, here minimum values, x plus 2y lesser or equal to 40, 3x plus y equal to greater or equal to 30 and 4x plus 3y is greater or equal to 60, where x equal greater than 0, y is greater than 0. Here, three equations. First, here, look at here, first, x equal x plus 2y equal to 40, 3x plus y equal to 30, 4x plus 3y equal to 60. Now we have to find the values uh, coordinate points, put x equal to 0, y equal to 20, put y equal to 0, x equal to 10. Like the second equation and third equation, we are getting three coordinate points, x equal to 0, y equal to 20, y equal to 0, x equal to 40. So points are these two. Similarly, equation two we can get that points is here. Then 
Here we are having three lines by using the coordinate points. These are the three lines and feasible region we have to shade it. This is the first normal method. Now we find the convenient value of z that is objective function. Objective function is given as 20x plus 10y. Twenty x plus ten ways we have to find the minimize of this one. So we have to consider that line here first. Our line is twenty x plus ten y equals zero. From that put x equal to zero means y y equals zero. We have to get it. Now we find the convenient value of z objective function. Now let us assume z equal to zero. Now put z equal to zero means twenty x plus ten y equal to ten y equal to zero. Then x equal to minus twelve minus half y. Now we have to put z equal to zero, z equal to zero, and we have to get a line x equal to. That is the slope is the slope is uh, reciprocal of minus reciprocal slope is minus two. So this is a slope and passing through origin. This is a isocost line. Then which the line is parallel to this line. Now as we know that the objective function is minimum type, then we draw a line which is parallel to the objective function line and <clears throat> nearest from the origin and has at least one common point to the feasible region. So, z equal to zero. That this is the line parallel to that isocost line. So, this is our point here. This is the point minimum point. This the red red dot is minimum point. This parallel line touch the feasible region at point A. So. Now we find the coordinate of point A. We can find the point of A by using that is, uh, as you can see from the graph, the point, the line L2 and L3 line intersect. So we solving the line L2 and L3, we can get the point here. That is, L is 3x plus 3x plus y equal to 30, 4x plus 3y equal to 60. Then multiply. Uh, 4 by this first equation that is 12x plus 4y equal 120 then multiply by 3 throughout this line that is 3 to 4 is 12x plus 9y plus 180 now cancelling subtracting cancellation this one now we have minus 5y equal minus 60 that is 120 minus 180 is 160 y equal to 12 y equal to 12 we get therefore the points substituting this y is 12 we can get x is 6 6 and 12 is the point now subtract both the uh, we get x and 12 we have a common point 6 and 12 with the feasible region so now we substitute this point to that z function z is 20x plus 10y that is 20 into 6 plus 12, 10 into 12 we get z equal to 240 is the minimum value of the function so we used iso cost method and solve the problem by using graphical method we have done please subscribe our youtube channel